In this video episode, we are going to learn how to use camera in a Delphi FireMonkey 3D application. I have already created a blank multi-device Delphi project and the very first thing to do is to add a T-Viewport component to the form. I'm going to align the viewport 3D component to the client so it occupies the whole screen and I'm going to change the background color to something different than white, for example, teal. OK, I'm going to save the project. The very first thing I'm going to do is to uh, add some elements to the scene. So I'm going to use uh, one of the 3D shapes components. I'm, in this case, I'm going to go for a cube component. And the first thing to, when you are using um, 3D shapes, you also want to uh, use a corresponding material components to add uh, some colors or textures uh, to your uh, 3D components. So I'm going to add a T uh, light material uh, source component. I'm going to keep the default uh, values. I'm going to connect this component to my cube through the material source uh, property. So right now I don't see anything because there is no light in my scene so I need to add also uh, light. So now I have light I want to make sure that this light does not belong to the cube but it belongs to the viewport component. I can change also the position of the light to be not 0, 0 but something like for example minus 5 or in the z direction minus 5 as well and I can manipulate this uh, this uh, light component to see that it actually uh, gives a different shading effect on my cube. I can also move the cube a little bit so it is not directly uh, looking into the built-in camera. So I have not added any camera to this form but still if I run the application I can see uh, the cube in the middle of the form. This is because every viewport 3D component has a built-in camera. There is a property called use de using design camera that by, by default is set to true and if you want to use explicit camera uh, you would like to uh, switch this using design camera uh, property to false. So let's add a camera uh, to the form. But before I do it I'm going to add a T dummy component to the form. So this dummy is a 3D component that does not have any visual representation but acts as a container for other components. So I'm going to add a camera component to my dummy component. I'm going to change the name of the camera to camera Z. And by default, uh, the position of the camera is X, Y and Z minus 5. So in a FireMonkey 3D, the X direction goes to the right the Y direction goes to the down and the Z direction goes into the screen. So if I want to change, uh, to move the uh, camera a little bit closer to the viewer, I can actually make the, instead of minus 5, to make it minus 10. So it's a little bit uh, closer to the user. Also, I can use the dummy XY uh, component to manipulate the camera. So if I change the rotation angle, for example, in the X rotation, so I can move the camera up and down. So if I change it to something like 15, it goes to the to the bottom and minus 15, it will go a little bit up. So in this way, I can use the dummy XY as a kind of a selfie stick. So I can change the rotation angle uh, properties of the dummy XY to change the position of the camera Z in the, in the 3D space. And still the camera will be looking uh, into the uh, point 0, 0, 0 uh, in the coordinate system of my viewport 3D. Okay, so right now I want to make sure that my viewport 3D uh, is using my camera and not a design camera, so I want to switch this to off, the using design camera, and also make sure that the camera property of the viewport is set to my camera Z. So if I run my application right now, I can see my cube, but from the perspective of my uh, explicit camera component. If I want to change the location of the camera, I need to respond uh, to the click events in desktop or the same click events will be translated to touch events on mobile platforms. OK, so I'm going to add two events to my viewport 3D. So first event is on mouse down. So in this 
uh, event. The only thing I'm going to do is to actually record the last position of the mouse. So I want to respond to the situation that the end user press uh, the left button and actually move uh, the mouse and then I'm going to change uh, the location of the camera but relative to the actually movement. So I need to under remember wh where was the last place that the, the button was pressed. So I want to keep it in as a private variable uh, of the form and just I'm going to add a tf down equals point f. So this is a handy procedure that takes x and y and returns a point t point f uh, record. Okay, so that's the first uh, event and the, the actual event when I'm doing the changing the rotation angle of my dummy is in a mouse move event. So first of all, I want to understand if we have actually pressed uh, the left uh, button. So this is the only situation where this is going to uh, happen. And I'm going to change the uh, rotation angle X and Y of my dummy X, Y component. So dummy X, Y component and rotation angle X property will be actually changed based on the current value of this property and I'm going to subtract from it the Y coordinate. So I want to take the current Y but deduct from it the previous location that was stored in the F down Y. So this is uh, understandable because the X direction goes to the right so uh, I want to respond to the movements in the Y direction to by changing the rotation angle X and the same thing uh, goes uh, for the for the uh, also Y rotation so I just want to change these two variables here and this time we are going to add to it because it's the opposite direction and here we can do the same thing. Okay, so that sh should do the trick and the last thing is to actually remember the new F down because it has changed. So I want to record this here as well. Okay, so if I now save my project and run it, I should see my 3D application responding to mouse and touch events and changing their camera location. Thank you for watching.